So what it do gang, y'all know who it is man, it's Drop once again, we back in the building with another one, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, share, y'all already know the routine, but we gonna jump straight into it. At the end of the day, y'all see this young lady on the front of the screen, Kanika Jenkins. I mean, 19-year-old Kanika Jenkins. If y'all remember the story, for the ones that don't, check this out. I think this shit happened back in, what, 2017? September 8th, 2017. Kanika Jenkins and a couple of her friends attended a party at the Rosemont. You know, that's what, that's what they call them, kickbacks. Her and her friends attended a party at the Rosemont Hotel in Illinois. All right, Crown Plaza. It's a Crown Plaza Hotel in Rosemont. So check it, boom. They go to this kickback in the hotel. I mean, you know how that shit go with young kids and shit when they party. A little bit of alcohol, a little bit of drugs got involved. And long story short, Kanika gets a little intoxicated, allegedly, right? But the ones that know y'all have been following this story enough. The cameras pick little mamas up coming out of the hotel room, stumbling down through these halls some kind of way. Ends up going into the kitchen of the Rosemont Hotel, the Crown Plaza, and, and ends up walking into a locker. I mean, a lot, not a locker. Ends up walking into a freezer where they ends up finding her dead. A couple, what, the next day? Some old weird shit? It's a, it was a very crazy, it was a very crazy case. And, and at the end of the day, believe it or not, this is how Drop got his stardom on YouTube, not even on his channel. It was a whole nother channel. I mean, and... and, and and it was just crazy to me. I didn't nobody know how this little girl ended up in this freezer dead. But I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all know how this internet works. A lot of people thought her friends had something to do with it. A lot of people thought the 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 Rosemont Hotel, the the Crown Plaza Hotel had something to do with it. Some people even thought her mother had something to do with it. But see, this is the internet. YouTube was going crazy report reporting on this little girl's story and all that so you know so many it was so many mixed emotions and that's just because the police department didn't tell us anything about what was going on and i understand they don't supposed to leak this shit too much to the masses but i thought shit like that was public information you understand what i'm saying people was pointing fingers at the hotel just for the simple fact come on man by the time they did release these videos because you know hotels have camera on every floor they got a camera on every floor by the time the Crown Plaza re released these videos, man, they have been shot and screwed so much. The time stamps was crazy on them. I mean, Lil Mamas was over here one minute. Then the next thing you know, she's in the basement and in, in, in the kitchen where they cook the food at. I mean, the story was all over the place. So at the end of the day, you left it up to the people to come up with their own assumptions of what they really think happened. You understand what I'm saying? Because they really didn't know. I didn't know. I'm doing videos, gang. I'm staying up 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. I had to be at work at 6. Trying to find out, listening to other people's videos. Trying to find out what's going on, going on with that little girl. Doing my own videos. You understand what I'm saying? To the, I was dealing with a young lady then, and, and I had her into it. She stayed up with me many nights. Many nights. Trying to find out what was going on with this little girl. You understand what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, here it is so many years later and there were still no answers. But I said all that to say this. Along the way, like always, Drop was going through some videos last night. And I found the video that I never even uploaded on my first channel. You understand what I'm saying? The channel that started all of this. Even though this is a new channel, I started doing YouTube off of Kanika. If it wasn't for Kanika, I wouldn't even have had the idea to even do YouTube videos. I mean, so big shout out to Kanika, R.I.P. to her, man. God bless her soul. My prayers still go out to her family. But what I did want to do, and that's just because she's, little mama stayed, she was a piece of me for so long. I think I put too much time and effort into that little girl. 
I mean, I don't know. It absorbed me for a minute, yo. I, I went straight to work, came straight home, and, and got on the internet and did all the research I could to find out what happened to this little girl. A lot of people said it was um, um, organ harvesting and all that because the case was just crazy. And I would lean more towards that. I don't know. Rose my that bell my the crown plaza and all that. I mean, I think they semi knew way more than what they told us. But I didn't even want to get too much into the story, gang. I just wanted to do releases, lost footage, cause that's what it is of her and her friend out a couple of days before she got killed. You understand what I'm saying? I think this video, I think they released this video two days before she got killed, two days before they went to the kickback. And I just wanted to release it to you, gang. Like always, it's dropped, man. Y'all hold on while I drop this video off. Hold on, sit tight. Oh, yeah, they don't really have nothing to touch that. 
But like this, like the layers up, so like you see everything. <laughs>
we thought we was home. Yeah, that's a super fan. About to turn up on my ex. Yeah, that's a super fan. 